Good result, that. Back to winning ways. Happy with that. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Um, Cavalio Brace on his 100th career appearance, I think. Um, Philogene back on the score sheet. Rosinha hugging up um, a nice banner at the end. Telling um, Happy Boy and the like to uh, to do one. Yeah, not not too bad at all. Is yeah, I, I thought my microphone my, my microphone's doing some weird thing on the settings. That's there we go. I had it I had it in a slightly wrong setting, but yeah. Um, just pleased to win again, to be honest. But, right, we'll talk the game through. Began, obviously, with the teams. Two changes, they're the only two changes I would have made. Greaves coming in um, at centre-back. And uh, Matty Jacob going in at left-back. Obviously, Coyle and Giles coming out. Louis Coyle travelled. I saw him sat behind the dugout. I'm not sure whether Ryan Giles did or not. But, um... We'll, we'll, um I think we'll get another update from Rossini before Middlesbrough regarding those two. Maybe play against Middlesbrough. Maybe make a return against QPR in the same game Liam Delap does. Who knows? They were the only two changes for us. So it was all stop and goal. The back four, Slater, Jones, Greaves and Jacob. Midfield three of Seri Morton and Carvalho. The wings were Abdush Amur and Jaden Philogene. Up top, Ozan Tufan. Bench, off the top of my head, McLaughlin. No, Panda, McLaughlin. Doherty, Ohio, Sharp. Um, I can't, I can't I'm going to be honest, I can't remember it. So I'll have a look. Um, the bench was... Panda McLaughlin, Doherty, Ohio, Traore, Sharp, Christie, Connolly and Zorori. Um, yeah, that's the team I would have played, and it gave us a good result. And the game started off loads of possession, but just weren't threatening enough in the final third. And Cardiff, although they only had the ball for a quarter of the game, by this point they'd. When they'd come forward, they'd look more threatening. I thought, oh God, is this going to be another sort of typical City game where, you know, we, we we dominate possession or, you know, this and that and then just can't score. And as soon as those little doubts started coming in my head, corner went through just about everybody and Carvalho, beautiful finish, really, really well taken. Great goal, did so well to keep the to keep the shot low as well. But I'd argue his second goal and our second goal was better. Seri on the ball around halfway. Ball towards Carvalho who drifted central, who um well was sort of centre left. Little dummy run late, slipped through his legs and made his run towards the um well towards getting in behind. And Abdush picked up the ball. He was drifting inside from the right. Abdush played it forward to Tufan. Tufan spotted the run of Carvalho. Slipped him in from just inside the penalty area. Ethan Horvath came out. Fabio Carvalho. Great finish. And that was just before the break. We went in. Confident. But then... <coughs> Second half. 
And after about 10 minutes, we go 1-0 down. Not 1-0 down. We, uh, I'm used to saying 1-0 down. Uh, it gets reduced to 2-1. Carl and Grant, if he played us every week, he would break every single goal-scoring record known to man. Um, and then uh, I saw a Cardiff fan tweet. It's taken us 57 minutes to remember that all stop. You just need to put the ball either side of him and it goes in. And to be honest, I don't really think you can blame Allsop for the goal. It's near post, yes, but he's probably not expecting Kyle and Grant to take the shot there. And he's got... A, it was either Tufan or Jones who who were back. I think it was Alfie Jones who was back trying to defend it and block the shot and get in the way of the shot. So he's going to be a bit unsighted. So... If you're scapegoating Allsop for that, you just don't need to. Um, and then our third one, didn't really see what happened on... Um, well, on the, on the live, because it was showing a replay of a foul. But I imagine what happened was Cardiff, from that free kick, tried to play it sidewards. It got intercepted. Philogene ran forward... Great finish, 3-1, back on the score sheet, against his old club, game in the bag. Could have been sealed on the counter late on. Philogene, driven forward so well. Mika has charged the length of the pitch to be square and give him an option. Had it been 1-1 or we'd been losing or something like that, Jaden taking that on on his own and blasting it wide, I'd have been fuming. But it was 3-1, game was done. In the very slim chance we've got of playoffs now, goal difference will be a factor, yes. And Seri, it would have been nice for Seri to have a goal, but uh, and you could tell he was fuming, but ultimately we, we'd won the game anyway, so I wasn't really bothered about it. And I'm still not. Um, on Seri shooting, we designed a whole set piece around playing the ball to Seri on the edge of the box. When we know, and it's been evident so many times, he cannot shoot from outside the box. Scored on his debut, and even then, that took a massive deflection from outside. And that's it. He, every single shot he's hit from outside the box since then has gone wide. So I don't know why we put a whole set-piece routine into making sure Seri was on the edge of the box to have a dig. But whatever, is what it is. Um, not much else to say, really. Um, on to Wednesday against Borough, who are ahead of us on the table because well, ahead, uh, ahead of us in the table because they've conceded one goal less than us and scored one more. So, must win game on Tuesday. Hopefully, they come and give us a game and let us like play the way we do away from home at home I hope everyone in the homes in the uh, in the stadium gets behind Liam Rossini first home game after the whole happy boy thing so let's back him let's back him all the way and hopefully that breeds a winning atmosphere it's almost as if today, as uh, one of us in the podcast group chat said it, I think it was Will. Will said in the podcast group chat, it's almost as if we're a good team, but we just hit a poor run of form at the wrong time. That'll do. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you on Tuesday for the preview for Middlesbrough. Up the Tigers. What a win. Goodbye. <laughs>